My name is Nick Jorgensen. I'm the CEO of Jorgensen Land and Cattle. We're located in Ideal, South Dakota, which is south central part of the state. We run about 1,500 Angus females on about 13,000 acres of native prairie grass here in northern Chip County. We've implemented the Gallagher East Shepherd system on a portion of our cow herd and we've been using it for the last two grazing seasons. The reason we decided to start to leverage virtual fencing in our business was the physical logistical challenges that come along with trying to implement rotational grazing at scale. Lots of people do rotational grazing, and I'm sure lots of them do it in, in larger herds like ours. But what we found is that we've got too many groups of cows spread out too far apart on too many acres, and we didn't want to stretch our, our, our team out too thin. I don't want to ask them to come in on Saturday and Sundays to pull off a move, right? I don't want to, I don't want to have them come out on a weekend and move a half mile of poly wire here or there. So we saw virtual fencing as a means to eliminate all that physical infrastructure and the need for additional people so that we could leverage the team we have today to implement more effective rotational grazing across our entire herd. The goal is when they touch a piece of grass, they're not going to come back there this grazing season. So when I talk about you know, what it does for the grass, we're gonna graze it a little harder. Like we're gonna go in and, and we're gonna take more of that grass than we normally would in a, in a rotational grazing scenario. But then we have an immense period of rest, right? right? It's effectively a 365 day period of rest. And, and grass functions well in an environment like that. I mean, when you think about the native prairies out here, what grazed them before we came? It was bison, right? And what bison did was they came in and they mobbed something. Herds of thousands of bison would come in and graze out an area and then they would move on and not come back for who knows how long, right? Probably a significant amount of time. So we're, we're emulating the way this ecosystem evolved to function as best as we possibly can using this, the e Shepherd system. Additionally, it's really nice to always know where your cattle are, even if you aren't with them, right? So that's another benefit is I can get online, I can get on my phone which to, to put like a, an objective value on that is really, really hard, right? But it's a peace of mind thing, first of all, that you know my team can look, say, hey, yeah, these cows are where they're supposed to be. And then they can also identify potential issues. Well, hey, these cows aren't where they're supposed to be, right? Or I've got one that um, something doesn't seem right. She's off by herself, the caller's reporting normally, probably need warrants to go check things out. What we also see from an animal health perspective couple more things. The first is we're not collaring calves. All we're putting neck bands on is the mature females, right? So there's 320 calves out in this group that are not managed with any form, well, really at all, other than the fact that they're not gonna go very far from their mom. What you see start to happen is these cows respect the boundary. We've seen it time and time again, they will respect the virtual boundary, but there's no virtual boundary for the calves to respect. So what are they gonna go do? They're gonna go graze in different places in the vicinity of the cows, which generally means they're gonna graze out ahead of the cows on really fresh grass that hasn't yet been touched by the cows, and they're gonna get an opportunity to find the most delicious and nutritious forage that's out. So it's a, it's a, it's a benefit for them in that they get really, really good feed. It was easy to implement e Shepherd in our herd. There's some things that Gallagher does that make it easier than some of the competition out there. The first one is when they shipped us these neck bands, they came in a box fully assembled. All we had to do was pull them out, set them outside to charge in the sun and turn them on. That was it. There was no assembly required like whatsoever. Uh, that makes it super easy. The next is they've designed this, this neck band very, very well. So putting it on animal, does not take long at all. Once you get a system, um, I think our team would tell you it added a little bit of time at the, at the time we chose to do it, but not a whole lot. So that part was easy. And then, the, you know, the third part is utilizing the platform, very user friendly, easy to learn. So all in all, I, I, I don't know how much easier it could be than what Gallagher has already made it. So right now we've got it on about one fifth of the animals, 20%. I'd love to say that, you know, in the next five years, we've got 100% utilization. 
where we're, we're leveraging this technology on every one of our animals. So when people call me and ask, hey, should I use this system? If you've done all this in the past um, and you're evaluating other products, I would recommend the, the eShepherd system for sure. I would say, yes, you should use it. You know, all in all, Jorgensen Land and Cattle is, is very satisfied with the experience we've had with Gallagher and the eShepherd system thus far. They've designed it right, it functions well, and I can just rely on our team to know, to have the tools that they need to manage it properly. Um, and Gallagher has done a very, very good job in that regard.